Hey y'all, Doug with Danny in the Garage. Today I want to show you how to cure your heat soak once and for all uh, in your Jeep Cherokee XJ uh, for $20, depending on what you have lying around the house, maybe $35. All right, what we're going to be doing is wiring in a time delay relay on a separate circuit parallel with the existing circuit on your uh, XJ's cooling fan system that sounds complicated but it's crazy easy all right what you're gonna do is you're gonna have a switch in your Jeep like that one all right when you click it on your cooling fan is gonna come on when you click it off your cooling fan is gonna stay on for a another depending on what you set it to because the time delay relay is uh, adjustable so you know I'm gonna set mine around three and a half four minutes and what that's gonna do is help pull some of the heat out of the engine bay let me show you uh, what I mean when I say that all right this is where heat soak happens uh, right here um, if you're wondering what heat soak is or you're not certain I have another video click the card up in the corner uh, on what heat soak is and why it affects the XJ and why in general the XJ has heating uh, issues. Uh, but heat soak happens right here. What happens is your exhaust manifold is right below your intake, right down there. Uh, there's not a lot of room in this engine bay. So on a hot day, uh, when you turn your engine off once it's at temperature, that heat soaks into your injectors and your fuel rail. Uh, and like I said, I have another video on the technicals of that. What we're trying to do is find a way to remove some of that heat so that it can't soak into your um, fuel delivery system right there. What I've come up with is this time delay relay that I wired in right here, All right? It's made by Bueller, it's adjustable, and uh, it's going to allow me to keep that electric cooling fan, which blows air conveniently right over the fuel delivery system, it's going to allow me to keep that on once I turn the Jeep off for, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm setting it for almost four minutes. What I'm going to do first is show you the schematic for the circuit, then I'll show you the actual implementation. All right, guys, here is the schematic of the circuit. Uh, I'm going to keep it real simple. If you're trying to tackle this yourself, I'd recommend uh, maybe take a screenshot of this uh, on your computer or your phone. Uh, this is everything you're going to need. It's really not complicated. Uh, you've got your existing cooling fan relay, which is inside your uh, power distribution center. Um, this is the time delay relay that we're wiring in. The first thing you're going to do is connect via wire uh, post 87 on the time delay relay with post 87 on the cooling fan relay, the existing one, and you're going to do the same thing with post uh, 30. What you're doing here is um, 30 is the power to the relay from the um, power distribution center and 87 is the power out from the relay to the fan. So those are going to be the same on each relay. Um, and again, I'll show you in a minute how I ran the wires. Uh, there are several ways to do this. Post 85 on the time delay relay, as always, is going to be a ground. I used a body ground, uh, the, an existing one that I had that's not complicated. The only one that is at all involved is post 86. Um, post 86 is going to be the 12 volt trigger for the relay. You're going to take a uh, wire off of 86, run it into the cab of your vehicle uh, to a single post, single throw switch. Uh, this is essentially just an interrupter switch. Um, I think you could probably use a normally open momentary switch as well, but I wanted to be able to keep this circuit on. Um, so you run that 86 to one side of it, you take the other side off, back into the engine bay to a 40 amp fuse. I used a 40 amp fuse for this circuit because the existing cooling fan circuit used a 40 amp fuse, so that made sense. Uh, and then you go directly to your battery, and that's all there is to it. Um, I'm going to show you in the Jeep what everything was, just to recap one more time. 87A is not used, that's the middle post on the time delay relay. 85 is your body ground, that's pretty simple. 86 is the 12 volt trigger, that's going to be your switched circuit uh, that also has a fuse and goes to your battery. That's going to be the one that takes you the most time to run. 30 is the power from the power distribution center into the relay and you're going to piggyback on the existing cooling fan circuit for that. 87 is the power from the relay out to the fan and you're going to do the same thing, piggyback on the existing cooling fan circuit for that. All right, like I said, take a picture of this if you're going to tackle it yourself. Let's go into the Jeep and uh, just show you what all this looks like actually implemented. So here we are in the engine bay of the XJ. The very first thing you're going to do when, before you tackle this project is disconnect the positive on your battery. 
And because I was playing around in my power distribution center uh, right here, I also chose to disconnect it from power. So you pop this little cover off right here. This was a 12 millimeter bolt, I think, maybe a half inch. Uh, take both of these lines off. They're the inputs from your battery and your alternator. Um, just to be safe, you wouldn't want to go ahead and fry your Jeep uh, trying to fix a little heat soak issue. All right, the next thing you have to do is find your cooling system relay. It's uh, not particularly difficult. You can see right here on the inside of the uh, uh, PDC cover, it says right there, cooling fan, and that correlates to this green one right here. All right, what I did was I just popped this relay out. All right, I took two wires. I stripped about an inch off of the um, insulation. I wrapped them around the top of the posts on each, on the, the 30 and the 87 that I needed. And then I pushed this relay back down in and it worked like a dream. There are definitely other ways you could do it. You could probably solder in the back or uh, use those like piggyback clip things that break into a wire. I don't know, this way seemed pretty safe and pretty secure. So that's the direction I went with it. I also uh, cut two little slits in the cover here so that it would still fit down securely over those wires that are coming out. Um, now that I have the 30 and the 87 coming out, uh, I was ready to wire in the actual time delay relay. Alrighty, here is the actual relay. Uh, when I bought the relay, I also bought the block for it. It comes with about 12 inch pigtails uh, already on the end. It made it a lot easier to wire in. You don't have to, you could just use blades. Uh, this one is adjustable from three minutes down to two seconds. I found it actually goes up to about five minutes. Uh, if you wanted to. Uh, as always, I'll put a link in the description. This relay was $16. The block for it was another $2, I think. So all in all, considering I had the rest of the wire I needed in-house, it was about $20. I think you could do this whole project for about $35 if you had to buy everything new. Anyway, um, you can see there's a little schematic on here. I took the 87 from my PCM cooling fan relay and wired it to 87 on here. I took 30 and wired it to 30 on here. And uh, then I took another wire off of 85 for the ground. If you've seen any of my other videos, this ground will look familiar to you. This is the body ground uh, that I cleaned up when I put in my hella lights in the front of my Jeep. I used this body ground when I ran uh, my winch uh, controls and I also used it now because it it's right there it's nice and clean and it's been working uh, you could ground back to your battery if you really wanted to or, or anywhere else where you know you're gonna get a secure ground if you try to do something that's painted make sure you sand down the paint uh, before you attempt to do that uh, so wiring all that stuff literally took 10 maybe 15 minutes uh, and then the last bit of this is wiring this red one. This is the 86, which is going to be the 12 volt trigger for the system. You can see I took it out of here, ran it along my firewall, and I ran it into my cab. Once I got it in my cab, I ran it to this on off switch. Just a simple single post, single throw switch. Uh, you could also do it to like a push button starter switch. The reason I chose this type switch is because now I can control this circuit so if I'm just sitting in traffic and I want to click my fan on before it would normally come on I can hit this switch and it'll stay on if you only want this for heat stroke put a little push button in and then before you get out you push it real quick and it'll activate the time delay relay uh, I'll explain how that works a little bit more in a second let's uh, finish up this circuit as always I used that port uh, right back there uh, underneath the brake booster on the firewall. I ran that red line in and then I ran it back out from the other side of that switch. You can see I got the two red wires. That one came all the way around the engine bay and back over here to the battery. Now I know this side of my battery is starting to get a little cramped with all the various things I've run in, but this is the one right here. All right, I put this 40 amp fuse in the system. Um, I had this little fuse block lying around. If not, you can get these at Advance or anywhere else. Um, and I ran it as close to the battery as possible so that if there's a surge from the battery, it's not going to send the surge all the way into my cab, blow out the switch, melt the wires behind my dash, cause a mess. Whenever you fuse anything, you want to do it as close to the battery as possible. Um, and that's about it. I had this little eyelet laying around. And that is the whole circuit, all right? Now let's look at how this thing works. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I've got this timer set for about four minutes, three and a half minutes. Um, 
I'm gonna hit this switch on. What's gonna happen is my fan's gonna go on, then I'm gonna turn it off. As soon as I turn this off is when that time delay relay starts counting down um, and the fan will stay on for, it's been staying on for about three minutes, 45 seconds to four minutes. So I'm gonna turn this on. My fan is on, let's go see. It's on a non-switched circuit, so uh, it'll stay on even if the Jeep's not on. All right, now let's go ahead and turn this off and hit uh, start on here and we will do a time lapse of how long this thing stays on. All right, there we go. Fan just went off at about, uh, what was it, 3.55? Yeah, that's about it, you know? Uh, if you have any questions on this, definitely hit me up, leave a comment. I hope you found it uh, helpful, useful, maybe even educational. If you did, by all means, like the video, uh, share it with a friend who also has an XJ with a heating issue. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.